Hey there and welcome to another Fortnite action figure review video. Today we are taking a look at the Jumbo Fortnite vending machine. It's been a little while since it's been out, so I decided it was finally time to get to this thing. This has got some amazing, amazing accessories and pieces in there. As you can tell from the front, this is the 8-Ball and Ruin vending machine. And there they are, there's, at least there's their game art. Let's flip this thing around. Can take a peek here at the back so this is everything that you get in it 71 pieces inside there's a spray sticker included and yeah all these things are wrapped up now i'm gonna point out something here about mine i got mine way back when it was brand new and it's different than what you're gonna see out there now if you notice mine has a pull here tab it says pull here there's a bit of a tab there, and it's uh, perf perforated, I believe is the right word. You can grab this and pull it down. The ones out there now don't have that. There has been a running change on all these vending machine boxes, and they've removed this and put in a solid front. In fact, some of them don't even say pull here anymore. Some of them do say pull here, but there's no way of pulling it down. And so mine is an original. Mine's an original and yeah. So I'm not going to open this by pulling it here. If I do, it may rip the contents, it may rip the sticker. There's a bunch of confetti right in here. There's a little piece of maybe like a parchment or a wax paper right here at the front that is attached to the uh, to attached to this front entire cardboard area. And so I don't want to disturb all that for right now. If we open it, say, through the bottom down here, then we won't have that big confetti mess. Even though I love the confetti inside the llamas and the vending machines, let's just get in and uh, take a look at the stuff instead of having that big confetti mess. So, I'm going to flip it upside down, and then I'm going to grab a knife. So it can be cut right along here. There are several pieces of tape here. And I don't know exactly what all I have to cut. I can't remember. So we're just going to cut all of these pieces of tape along here. Can't see it from my angle. We don't need to remove... The shrink wrap. The shrink wrap is below it. So here's. Oh, okay. So I just needed to remove the tape on this side, not this side after all. Can flip this part open. I'm going to set my knife down. Don't open things unless you have to with your knife. And it looks like we've got a spacer. Maybe. Looks like I'll have to open up this side anyway. So it looks like we've got a spacer. And then, yep, there's just lots and lots of goodies down in here. Lots of stuff. In fact, let's make a bit, bit of a mess here and try not to... There we go. That might be... Oh, there's one more. One more that's stuck up in there. There we go. So if you can see in there, that was the pouch that contains the confetti and the sticker. My camera's having a bit of a tough time focusing. It's kind of dark in there. But that's, uh, that's what that is. So now we've got all these bags laying around, floating around, trying to fall off my table here. We're going to jump over to the old set have this all laid out we're going to get it all open and we're going to well we're going to explore the jumbo vending machine so i went ahead and organized all the different packages so they can all be opened up in their sets and in their groups and so what we've got laying out here is the cube back there sprays here, building material here, 
weapons there, campfire here, harvesting tools, back bling, and figures. And so I'm going to pull all this stuff away. I'm going to open each set of things. Oh, and the instructions for the cube because the cube is going to be insanely difficult to put together. Ha ha. Anyway, so I'm going to pull all this stuff. We're going to open each group of items one at a time. Let's get to it. The first thing we're going to open is the campfire. Right there. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like it's another one of those lit things. Push it on. And there we go. Now you can get all warm and toasty, regain that health, and off to battle we go. That's really cool. Next is what I believe are two packages of five building material each. So, yep, there's five building material wood, uh, metal wood, metal wood, <laughs> metal figure stands building material. So, cool. What we need, we love building material, we love figure stands. Some of the stuff doesn't come with those things anymore. So, I like this. Next, we're going to open the sprays, and we're going to find out which one. There are three different sprays. Looks like this one is the Nana Nana spray. Just got to pop it together the right order. And then you got a really cool looking spray on building material. Yep, Nana Nana. We'll open up the next one here. Which spray will it be? This is going to be, looks like the Doggo Spray. Doggo. But, um, you know, you got to put it together correctly. Otherwise, it's going to turn out to be like Picasso or something. We don't need a Picasso Doggo, right? There we go. And then the final spray. The final spray of the day. And that's going to be Distinguished, I think. Yeah distinguished not there not there but maybe there get it the right direction as I said we could have a Picasso llama right Picasso llama there we go distinguished distinguished Nana Nana and Doggo all three sprays from the vending machine Next, we come to the weapons. So let's start opening these things up, taking a look here. We got a legendary assault rifle. It's funny how big these packages are compared to the size of the guns. We have a proximity grenade launcher. So far, they're all gold. Yep, they're still all gold. A legendary tactical shotgun. Hey, this one's purple. A tactical assault rifle. And yeah, there we go. We'll just throw it away. Um, yeah, maybe I mix some things up. I think this is the tactical assault rifle. Let me take a peek at my cheat sheet. This is the tactical assault rifle. So, was this? Sorry, this is the legendary infantry rifle. I didn't think things were right as soon as I saw this one. Legendary infantry rifle. Next, this is going to be a tactical shotgun. I know what this is. I like this one in the game. In fact, it's in the current season right now. And it's green. Tactical shotgun. I don't think there's any new weapons. I think these are all weapons we've seen before. And there we go. We have a green drum gun. A dr uh, let's see. This is common, right? Green is common. Blue is rare. Gray is uncommon. I always confuse orange and purple, legendary, and epic. Anyway, a hunting rifle. 
A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. Never mind. And then we've got, ooh, it's a rare, look at the shiny. That's like metallic blue. That's a cool shiny. My light's actually not shining directly that way. It almost looks purple on the screen, but anyway, an automatic sniper rifle. In person, this, this blue is really cool. That's one of the better blues I've seen from these guns. And finally, the last one. Ooh, it's another really, oh, I, li I like this. Combat shotgun. This one is really, really neat. Uh, it's got a little bit of red right there and the black. Oh, I like the colors on this one. Really like the colors on this one. Combat shotgun. All right, there's our pile of guns. Let's move on to the back bling. All right, now it's time for the back bling. Rip it open. Back bling away. And this, ooh, this is the Dark Shield. This actually belongs to Dark Red Knight. And the exciting, exciting thing is we are going to be getting Dark Red Knight sometime in the spring of 2021. So in just a few months, within a few months, Dark Red Knight, or this uh, Dark Shield will have a figure to go with. Cool. Next, we're going to open, we're going to open this one. Ooh, the Dragon Crest. This belongs to the Ultima Knight. Yep, the Ultima Knight. We already have the Ultima Knight. Ultimate. Ultima Knight, he came in the hot drop. We got the gold version and the gold version of the Dragon Quest Crest. But uh, anyway, maybe we'll be getting another version of Ultima Knight soon. Next, what are we going to see next? Aha, this is the ball bling. I'm not sure which way it goes. I know it goes one way or the other. The ball bling, it goes to eight ball, and we will be opening him up shortly. Very, very shortly, or soonly, but not longly. No. Next, we're going to get... A ghost portal. The purple ghost portal right there. That belongs to the, I guess, the purple skull trooper. It belongs to skull trooper, but you can put him with any, put it with any of them. But uh, probably is designed to go with the purple skull trooper that came with the Cloud Strike drone last year. Ooh, this is neat looking. Oh, that'd be cool to be able to pull these off for harvesting tools in game. This would be the Kuno. The Kuno. Yeah, trying to get it in focus there. Kuno. No, sorry, the dual comma that comes with Kuno. I just like, I'm not thinking about what I'm saying as I'm trying to focus in on this. The dual comma. That uh, belongs to Kun Kuno. Yeah, Kuno. Maybe we'll be getting her soon. Next. Next is the Neo Frenzy. Neo Frenzy. That belongs with Neo Versa. If I remember right, this was a special skin set that came with a PS, uh, a PlayStation controller or a, some sort of a PlayStation set. The Neo Frenzy. So there's a few, uh, a few foreshadowings here, the figures that hopefully we'll be getting in 2021. Ah, and here's another one right here, the Wild Cube Back Bling. It looks like Mini Kevin the Cube. Uh, this belongs to Dark Wild Card, who we know is coming in the spring of 2021. We're getting a dark set. So Dark Wild Card will be here. This is kind of actually sticky feeling. Weird. That's sticky feeling. It's a, a sticky Wild Cube. And the final Back Bling is going to be... The Black Hole, which is a lot lighter in color than I was expecting it to be. It doesn't look nearly as black. It's actually pretty translucent all through it. Maybe if you shine a light through there, then this dark part shoots a blackness through that. I don't know. This is a pretty, pretty bright black hole, if you ask me. Anyway, this belongs to Zero. So there are the back bling. 
it's time to get to the figures. All right, the moment I've been waiting for excitedly is to get these figures out of the bags, out of the box, then out of the bags. Who is the first one? It's gonna be 8-Ball. All right, I like 8-Ball. Since he premiered in chapter one, oh, sorry, chapter two, season one, I have liked 8-Ball quite a bit. This is a very cool looking figure. His head is rotating quite nicely. The torso is working quite nicely. And the waist works as well as a Fortnite waist does. The arms are working and you can lift him up. He's a little bit tight. I haven't warmed him up in water. Because apparently I need to do that with all figures nowadays. Uh, let's see. Not really sure which direction his arms go. They're all kind of twisted. But uh, yeah. Knees are working just fine, and the ankles are rotating and bending back and forth just like they're supposed to. He's got the thigh rotations. Too bad. You know, I, I'm still disappointed that things like this, the gun, can't come out. <laughs> yeah. So his elbows don't seem to be hinging. Well, there we go. Took me a... a a half a second there, but this one doesn't want to seem to. I'm going to have to warm him up. going to have to warm him up. But 8-Ball, oh man, I'm so excited to finally have him out of the package. Opened up Scratch not that long ago, and I thought, it's time to get 8-Ball out of the package. He's got so many cool details. All the, the prints and the... Here's a knife. Too bad we can't pull the knife out. He just looks amazing. He looks really really good all right oh that was a that was a hard thud let's get to the next figure there must be ruin i have to be careful apparently i say ruin in a way that it sounds like rune but ruin i liked the six inch legendary series figure when i discovered he was coming out in the jumbo vending machine originally it was supposed to be eight ball and scratch then it became eight ball and ruin so, yeah, he's really neat. Yeah, I think he looks really good. His knees are working just fine. His ankles seem to be working pretty good. His head rotating around. I keep, sorry, I keep lowering it too, too low. Now, he's got a little bit of hindrance with these pieces of armor and the arms. So, he can only take his arms up so far, it looks like. But if you keep his arms out just a little bit like this, then you can rotate them all the way around. This guy's elbows seem to bend a lot better than 8-Ball's, and his wrists are rotating. Let's kind of straighten him back up, get him more presentable. Yeah, that's cool. His head does not... Uh... That's about all it does for tilting up and down. Yeah, this is a nice figure cool figure i really like this one they you know and maybe it's just the skins that they're choosing but i swear jazzwares is just getting better and better with their uh with their action figures and maybe it's the skins that help a lot very very cool so we got eight ball and ruin it is time to move on to well the harvesting tools we're now down to the harvesting tools there's two of them so let's just get right to it First one we'll open is, is only half a one, even though you might think it's one. We get the bank shots, and this goes, well, I dropped one. These go towards this guy, 8-Ball. Let's open up the next one. And I know what this one is. This is going to be Dread. This is going to be Ruins Harvesting Tool right there. Why don't we equip these harvesting tools on these figures real quick? And here the figures are holding their harvesting tools. 8-Ball with the bank shots and Ruin with the Dread harvesting tool. Pretty cool. And not only that, but we have back bling for both of these guys. So these are complete sets. I love getting complete sets of these Fortnite figures. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, the cube. I've been calling it Kevin the Cube, but the cube. And there are 24... According to this, 24 pieces comes with the instruction manual. At least the instruction manual comes in the vending machine. 
And here are the stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, meaning there are four pieces in each of these. Let's get those open. I think you're going... Makes a lot of noise, by the way. I think you're going to discover that they all look really, really similar. I'm going to keep them in their sets just in case it means something to keep them in their sets of four. Uh, it may not mean anything, but uh, yeah, just going to keep them in their sets of four for the moment so I have a chance to look at them. Isn't this great making up all this noise? Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. How many of you have turned off the video? <laughs> Don't answer that, because if you have stopped watching the video, then, well, you can't answer that question. If you answer the question, you're still watching the video. Yeah, this is, uh... Whoa! My arms got tired. They're too many. The cube's too heavy. I'm already noticing it's really cool. They seem to be a bit of a translucent piece. Here, I'll hold one up. So you can see, you can actually just see my hand right through there. You've, you can see the crossbars back there. So I'm gonna scoot these off to the side, just like that. We're gonna take a quick peek here. Are they different? They do seem to be different. This little, uh, that little glyph is a different direction there. And I don't even see that on the corner. So they are, it's this one right there. So they are different. I don't know if it really matters or not which direction the glyphs go. I'm not going to build the cube right this minute, but I will take a peek here real quick to see if it matters. So it says, attach four cube pieces to crate to make one cube wall. Assemble the view. So it shows how to assemble it. That's cool. Um, based off of this, let's look at a second set. And this, these, are, these glyphs are different than these glyphs um, in the way it's laid out. Actually, we'll rotate that. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit different. Uh, okay, that one matches that. Nothing matches that one or that one. Yeah, I, th I don't think it really matters. I think the whole purpose is just to have some glyphs on there. So, all right. There is the vending machine, the jumbo vending machine. We'll get this all in focus here for you. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and... If you want to be notified when more of these types of videos show up in the future, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. You will be notified. I'm going to put out a smaller separate video uh, putting this together. It's not going to be real long, but I'm just going to do a video showing you how to put the cube together just in case. So that's why I'm not doing it here. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video.